Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to modify table structure. Let's get started. So I have a table here that discusses the temperature range and it has each of the seasons right here as well as the minimum and maximum. The first thing that I want to go over is how to insert a new row onto a table. And so after we uh, get to minimum here, I know that I want it to appear between minimum and maximum, and I'm going to add in the average temperature. So I have to click within the table first, and I'll typically click in the row above where I want to insert the new row, and then I go to the Table Tools Layout tab, and I click on Layout, and then right over here in the Rows and Columns group, I click Insert Below, and that's how we insert a new row below our current one. Now keep in mind that uh, it, over here it added in this border right below the 73. Uh, that's because it got the um, border structure from the uh, row above it and so now I need to remove this and so to remove a bottom border I'm going to go to the table tools design tab and then I can go to the table styles group and I can click right, on, right over here on the borders arrow. And so after I click on the borders arrow, you're going to see that I have bottom border as an option right here. And if I click it, it'll turn it to the default black. And then I can actually go back and click the borders arrow once more and then unclick it, or I guess click it again to uncheck that box and it'll remove that border uh, from right there. Okay. And so now I'm going to enter in my average information. So I'm going to go right here and type in average. Notice that it's getting the format from the cells that it was around before. And so there we go, or rather the cell that it was created from. So everything looks about right right here. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to enter in a new row above uh, winter. Uh, up here in this row. And so if I want to enter it above, I'm going to go right here to the Table Tools Layout tab, Rows and Columns group, and I'm going to click on Insert Above. And so now we'll see that we have a brand new row up here at the top. And this is where I'm going to put in my title. And so the title that I'm going to put in here is Seasonal Temperatures. And notice that the um, text gets wrapped down. The reason that's being wrapped down is because the column width is not large enough to uh, hold the contents within it. Now, since this is going to be a title row, I could actually take this row and mer uh, actually take this text within this cell and merge it with these other ones. The way that you merge cells within a table is you click and drag from the first cell all the way over through the fourth cell. And then I could actually merge them together by going to the Table Tools Layout tab, Merge Group, and I could click right here on Merge Cells. And you'll see that that will reduce that height, which is really good, and it merges across all four of those cells. So now I just need to re, uh, or I guess readjust the height. And so the way that I do that is I go to the border, and I go anywhere on the border that has the four directional arrows and I click and drag up and you'll see that the guides will eventually tell me when it's perfectly in the middle between the title and the uh, footer down at the bottom of the slide. And then so I could click uh, right there or rather unclick and then I can click away and see how it'll look. And now we see our uh, seasonal temperatures Fahrenheit title has been merged across. We've added in the average row along with the data for the average row and we also learned how to add and remove borders from our uh, table structure. So that's how you modify your table structure within PowerPoint 2016. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.